jumping out of line as of yet. They've cleared pit entrance, although there's a bit of a gap. And it looks like the Andretti Autosport car of Carlos Munoz jumps out, and they want to go four wide down the main straightaway. Munoz to the bottom side. Chris Denary, he's going to grab the top spot as they roar in front of you. It is Munoz. He is leading now single file through the short shoot here on the south end. It is Munoz by about a three-car length advantage over Carbonet. So Munoz has taken the lead starting from the third slot in the middle of the back stretch. He's part of that AFS uh, red and yellow machine that uh, ties his season best in qualifying. And Munoz now is in, uh, going to get passed on the inside. A great move by Victor Barton Carbone. Carbone takes the lead. Munoz right on his rear wheel. The front three Martins broken away by about 100 yards. Gustavo Jacobin goes from the pole to third on the start. Munoz wants to jump out of line and slingshot down the main straightaway. They'll go side by side now and Gustavo Jacobin trying to wedge his way into that mess. Sabater, meanwhile, in that 27 machine, he's worked his way up to fourth place, Chris Denary. And now it's Munoz that has gotten inside and he has the lead. He passed Carbonet, so it's Victor Munoz who was leading the last time they went through two. He's got the lead again over Carbonet. The front three cars in qualifying are the front three cars in running right now. They're too wide down the back straight away. Side by side with Munoz on the outside and on the inside. Another really strong move by Victor Carbone. Carbone will take the lead. Here comes Jacobin trying to take over the number two spot around turn number four. That yellow and white crepes and waffles machine has his mirrors full of Sebastian Saavedra. Saavedra jumping up to that fourth spot. We've got the first six cars single file down the main straightaway. Just behind them, a three wide battle as they make their way into turn number one. Pippa, what a show early on. It's been very interesting. One of the most interesting things about the battle for the lead so far is the track definitely seems to have a little bit less grip. The cars don't seem to want to run too wide through the corners as much. Most of the passing is being done through one or three, and they're not staying side by side all the way through two and four. Looks like Munoz is attacking Victor Carbone again right now and trying to make that pass. It's, uh, it's going to be a wild battle for the lead right here. Is he going to make a stick, Jerry Baker? He will indeed in the number three car. Uh, Victor Carbone will drop into the number two spot. Now, Mark, we've got four cars, including Saavedra. They are literally nose to tail as they turn down that main straightaway. Gustavo Jacobin with a nice run off of turn number four. The front four try thought about staying single file. Gustavo Jacobin almost shoves Sebastian Saavedra into the wall. He's not playing nice, and he's probably going to here from race control. That battle for third goes side by side in front of Chris. And it is Yakuman that went to the Yakuman went to the outside. It is still Carbone that has the lead. Yakuman looks to the outside of Munoz, now stays behind. It's one, two, three. Carbone, Munoz, and Yakuman, and there's a big crash. It's three or four cars that hit, and it was the outside wall that they hit exiting turn two. And that is a car. Yakuman is in the middle of the backstretch. And there's also a car, a white and red car, and it's far enough away, guys. It is uh, Oliver Webb that is now resting inside along the uh, retaining wall outside the grass, and there, and there is all kinds of debris in turn two, and it's Emerson Newton John that is also. The uh, safety trucks are now out as uh, they hit hard exiting turn two. Ready to hit green again. And the front two separate themselves nicely. The 26 machine, that is, of course, Munoz will grab the top spot as they make the dive into turn number one. And it is Munoz that has the lead. He passed Carbone. So now Munoz in that Andretti Autosport. But here comes Jacoma to the inside on the white line. He now is in third place right behind Carbone. Field of 13 now down to, with that. Uh, Big disastrous uh, accident just moments ago. Here they come. The front four cars separate from the rest of the field. Now a move down to the inside and a big strong move with the number three car of Carbone. Carbone gets in front of Jacobin and Munoz. Head to the short shoot, north end of the track. Left hand turn, turn four, down the main straightaway mark. Sebastian Saavedra pedaling hard, coming off of turn number four, wants to get a run on that third place car. Gustavo Jacobin now jumps out of line on Munoz. He comes to the bottom side of him. While they do that, the number three machine starts to pull away just a bit. 
Now Jakobin to the bottom side, going to jump back in behind Munoz. Saavedra is there to the high side. Victor Carbonet leads the field to the south, short shoot. And they now exit turn two. That's Carbonet has the lead, Munoz is second, and Jakobin is third. They are single file now through the middle of the backstretch, Jerry. It looks like Munoz trying to make another move. And he is going to have some company as they are literally side by side, the front two rows, jumping out in front now, the 26 machine of Carlos Munoz. But Mark, as they come toward you, it looks like the starting grid. The first two rows are side by side. Guerrieri and Bautier are also there. They're looking to size things up two by two. There's a single file line to the high side of four cars. Now they go three wide in the battle for second place. Carbone literally getting shoved into turn number one. Throw a blanket over the top six cars as they scream in front of Chris. Christian Vautier P1 as they roar off of turn number four. They'll complete 37 of 40 laps and the car. The number 11 machine of Esteban Guerrieri. They want to go three wide into turn number one. Will they make it stick, Christianeri? They are two wide now, and it's Jakobin on the inside has taken the lead. Looked like they might have touched wheels. It's Guerrieri on the outside trying to make the pass on Jakobin. They are side by side as they hit the middle of the backstretch. Jakobin, of course, from Columbia, and now they are still two wide, Christianeri. And now they're three wide coming down the back, and the four wide coming down the back straight away. Your leader is the 11 machine of Gary Airy. Now they'll fall back in single file. A battle for this top spot mark right now with Gary Airy putting the bar. Well, we wondered uh, if he could get to the front. I guess Dave Wilson, he has answered with an emphatic yes from 18th to 1st, Esteban Gary Airy. Here he comes, man. That boy last year so disappointed to finish second, but he's going to have his hands full keeping this gang off of him. Kristen Eri, Gustavo Jakobin to the inside, almost touches the 77 machine of Tristan Vautier. They're out of turn number one. But the native of Argentina, Gary Eri has the lead. Carlos Munez from Colombia is second, and a car has hit the wall. A back marker has hit the wall, and it's Alan, it's Alan Day. Let's see, it's, it's Jorge Goncalves out of Bilardi Racing has hit the wall. Well, yeah. the checkered flag and yellow flag flies at the same time after the one car accident involving Jorge Goncalves and Esteban Guerrieri will get into victory lane at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The number 11 machine rolling from 18th to 1st and Nick Yeoman, Sam Schmidt's mastery in the Firestone Freedom 100 continues here today.